Here's an SAT math trick you can use to save time. In a right triangle, one angle measures x, where sine of x equals 4 fifths. What is the cosine of 90 minus x? Well, the answer is also going to be 4 fifths. Okay, so how did I answer that in less than a second? Well, anytime I'm told that the sine of angle x is 4 fifths, and then I'm told that the cosine of angle 90 minus x is equal to something, it has to be the same. Okay, the sine of angle x must equal the cosine of angle 90 minus x. So why is this? Well, I can show you this very quickly, actually. If I was to draw a right triangle, so let's go ahead and draw a right triangle. Okay, we'll label this angle right here x. Okay, so we'll label that angle x, then this angle right here, we'll call that angle y. Okay, well that angle y, since this is a right angle right here, that angle y has to equal 90 minus the angle x. Since angle x plus angle y must equal 90, therefore angle y must equal 90 minus the angle x. So now when we do that, if we're going to go ahead and plot that 4 fifths, we know that the sine is the opposite over the hypotenuse. Okay, so our opposite then of angle x would be 4, and our hypotenuse would be 5. Now we're asked for the cosine of 90 minus x, which we know in this case is angle y. Well, the cosine, we know that the cosine is the adjacent over the hypotenuse. We see the adjacent um, side length to angle y is 4, and we see that the hypotenuse is 5. So once again then, that cosine of 90 minus angle x, or the cosine of y, must equal 4 over 5. Okay, so that shows you geometrically that the cosine of angle 90 minus angle x is equal to the sine of angle x. Okay, so that shows you that they are going to be equivalent, and therefore if you know that, then you don't have to write anything other than this 4 fifths, because you immediately recognize when you're told that the sine of x is 4 fifths, that the cosine of 90 minus x must also be 4 fifths. So that right there can save you a lot of time.